In this video, I want to show you VidIQ, what a good software and a program to help you find really good keywords when you're doing videos. I was doing some research. I want to show you this right now. My name is Adam Shelton. And thank you for watching this video because this is the place to be to grow your brand, to grow your bank account. Let's go ahead and dive into the content right now. VidIQ, yes, VidIQ is a really good place to start when you're starting to do videos you're trying to search with those right keywords to really explode your content out on youtube and right below this video you can go get logged in i have a link for you can go ahead and get access to vidIQ you do want to install the chrome extension on your computer your laptop or tablet or your your computer but down below go ahead and get started with vidIQ today i'll have the extension and also the vidIQ actually program for you can go right here and really start searching for those keywords now look at this here now i'm at bit iq right at this at this particular time i'm at right now and if i'm trying to type in a keyword like make money right look what happens i get all this volume that kind of shows up and what happens is if i'm trying to do a video over make money it's going to tell me data and that's what you need to know. That's why I like vidIQ, TubeBuddy and vidIQ. I use them both of searching for those keywords in terms of what type of videos I'm gonna do next. And as you see here, it says make money. Here's the search volume and even have a question mark and actually explain to you exactly what that question mark is, is the average number of times people search for this exact keyword on YouTube each month. So that's a lot, but check this out. It says competition score is a measure of how many videos are competing for this keyword and YouTube search results. A low number is better, less competition. So if you wanna look at the less competition videos, so look at this, make money online. That could be a good one right there because it's less competition, it's low and it's high search. So if you do content over make money online, then this will be a good one right here. Check this one out here. This is not a bad search volume there. How to make money with affiliate marketing low so use those keywords in your title and your description and even in your tags as well let's look at something else uphold i've been doing a lot of uphold videos if i do uphold it's going to tell me okay uphold is basically saying all right this is the whole the uphold title or keyword is very low that's low hanging fruit right there so i can do content of uphold um, look at all this uphold stuff that I can at least look to do research and also videos of an uphold. So look, look at this. I'm gonna do another one. Pix Teller. I've been doing a couple of Pix Teller videos. And look at this, Pix Teller. The search volume is low, but it's actually increasing a little bit, but it's low hanging fruit. And check this out. You have a I have one of my videos is trending right now. Have actually another video, have a couple of videos over here that's trending right now on Pix Teller. So that lets me know the search volume is low for now, but it's increasing. It's increasing. And as you see here, I can start doing videos over Pixteller or let's say, you know what? I want to do videos on something else like a Facebook um, uh, engagement. So on Facebook engagement, it's not law engagement ring. <laughs> so let me say Facebook, I would say, Facebook marketing, probably should be a little bit more specific. But look at this, Facebook marketing, and check this out, 200,834 search volume on that. Low competition, and overall is, is a measure of how attractive this keyword is to you as creator. A higher number is better. So 67 is not too bad. I would consider doing the videos over um, Facebook marketing but I'll try to get a little bit more specific. Facebook marketing 2021. And you can look at uh, Facebook ads, do a video. Look at this. Look at Facebook ads. Facebook ads, 72 out of 100. So that's something you can possibly do. The search volume is high. So basically you can do content over Facebook ads, which I think if that's in your area, your niche, that's what I would do. Facebook ads is definitely, definitely um, something you can do. Let's go ahead and keep going. Thumbnail. And this is the vidIQ just for the keywords. Now, vidIQ does other things, but this video is just talking about keywords. And I'll do other videos about other resources that vidIQ does.
but we're specifically talking about keywords where you can use those in your videos so you can explode your videos with the right type of keywords that people are actually searching for. So if I, if I wanna say thumbnails, thumbnail, okay, how to make thumbnails, medium, it's not too bad, but look at some of these other ones down here. Low here, how to edit thumbnail. Now the, now the search volume is really low on this, but actually medium is not that bad. It's not that bad here. Look at how to make a thumbnail. Medium score, eh, competition's not too bad, but use vidIQ to at least you have you have somewhere to start before you do videos. Gemini, I'm gonna do I've done a lot of videos over Gemini. Gemini, let's see, Gemini Crypto. So basically, Gemini, I've been very low. I've been doing videos over Gemini Crypto, Gemini Crypto Review. I've been doing over that. Um, so it's been a low score here. Video exchange. So look at a video cryptocurrency exchange. See, I need to do a video or I need to start looking at doing videos over this a little bit, a little bit, you know, because this is actually not a bad score. Look at this Bitcoin. Look at this Bitcoin. Look at this, how, how search volume that is. And look how low that is. Just having the keyword Bitcoin in your videos. Let's say uh, work from home, right? So work from home. Look at, check this out. The search volume is very high and high. So you may not want to do a video over this because overall score is not as good, 39,100. But look at work from home jobs, 521,363. So you can do a video over that because it's a low competition, not a bad overall score. And you can do a couple of videos over work from home jobs. The same thing for, it was another one in here that I saw. Uh, so I saw another one here. This was not bad, online work from home jobs medium oh, okay i see the overall score is a little bit lower but i would just stick with this one for right now this one seemed like the best one of this search term of this keyword that i would circle on doing videos over that as well let's see affiliate marketing affiliate marketing okay affiliate marketing look at this search volume very high but related keywords that you wouldn't want to do affiliate markets for beginners slow this is actually a good keyword to do affiliate market for beginners and then you can add some different things there. You can look at some training videos that have done very, very well using that, that key term, affiliate marketing. You can put free behind it. So if I say free, like that guy did, and it's low, but it still seems like affiliate marketing for beginners is still like it's winning. I mean, affiliate marketing for, affiliate marketing for beginners is a definitely hot, is a very good keyword. Also, some of these other ones here is not that bad. How to, how to start affiliate marketing, like affiliate marketing for beginners. And look at that. Let me look at Discover Hill. Discover Hill Review. See, even if I'm searching for Discover Hill Review. Discover Hill Review. Let's see. Um, it's a low, it's a low one though. But if you do videos over the, if you do a lot of videos, let's see. I mean, the search volume is low there that I'm seeing here. So low, low there, but that it could actually be potential to be a high search. Basically, it has potential. It can be potential, and you can start doing videos over some of these other terms. Discover here reviews. So, but then again, if you want to do Discover Hill, you can do something else like let's see, network marketing. I'm just going by a couple of keywords. We're just kind of playing around with this. And look at that, that's too high. So I will stay away from network marketing, but I will look more towards maybe net more net mm, network marketing training, you know, click on there. And then you can kind of see the difference of that as well. So we're just playing around with keywords here, guys. Click on the link below to get access to the vidIQ information. You definitely want this. And I have my affiliate link in the description box. Well, you can get this it's, it's really really worth it if you're trying to do videos on youtube vidIQ i love vidIQ it's very very simple and really easy and you just type in your keyword in there what type of topic you want to do what video new, if you want to do if you want to say make money online it's going to let you know what's the search term the search volume the competition level so basically make money online is actually the search volume is high competition is low but then I would do something right here, make money online 2021, where the search volume still is high and the competition is very low, 
but overall it's 78 out of 100 so people are searching for that term they just are now the related score is not as is it is related score is a measure of how closely this keyword is related to the keyword you search for okay what you search for so it's pretty related to me but look at this i mean it look at this though look at the numbers here so you can make make money online 2021 how to really get started with affiliate marketing you can have a title and a and a keyword a long term keyword with that title so go ahead click on the link below get started with this i'm so excited i'm really excited about this because i think this can really help you when you're doing videos and you're probably doing videos people are not searching for but imagine you're actually doing videos what people are searching for you can start from there and then from there you'll get onto the suggested video platform or the browse video platform and that's in the next level in terms of getting found on youtube so check out vidiq click on the link below i have the link i i'm telling you you should definitely take advantage of this my name is adam shelton and i thank you for watching this video on keywords finding those keywords in vidiq to explode your videos and i'll see you in the next video and don't forget to comment hit that bell notification because this is the place to be to grow your brand and to grow that bank account i'll see you on the next video